Okay, so this one it'll be a quick just run through just a little bit about um, trap nurseries, um, sentinel plots. When we were in the field yesterday, um, we, we were standing in the middle of, of one of the, the trap plots and I, I talked about a few of the good things about trap plots, bad things about trap plots, things you need to be careful about. So this will just really go through basically most of the same principles. And a lot of the inputs from this came from um, Dr. Kumas Nazari, many of you know him, good friend, colleague at ICADA, and he's the person responsible really for, for distributing the international trap, trap nurseries. So he, he provided lots of inputs to, to this. So I'll try and go through explaining what, what are trap nurseries, um, talk a bit about sentinel plots, information, composition, seed source, good practice, bad practice, and, and a bit about data management as, as well. So that's what I'll try and cover in the next 20 minutes. So I think, I mean, none of this will be new to, to most of you. I think you're all familiar with, with trap plots. Um, how many of you are working with trap plots? Nobody? Ah, okay. Right, so, so many of you are already working with them. So as we saw in the field yesterday, trap disease monitoring nurseries, specialized nurseries, small plots, lines with known resistance genes, usually including commercial cultivars in them as well. So you have the, the SARC trap nursery, which includes cultivars from each, each of the countries. Usually these are located in, in rust prone areas. Yeah? They're often areas where you would expect to see disease occurrence, natural disease occurrence. Monitor regular intervals through the season, so you, you're keeping an eye on, on what's, what's happening. <clears throat> And they can also be put in the off season, yeah? Many people put in trap plots. They're interested as to what, what rust is floating around in the, the off season. So one of the things with trap plots is, is the purity of the lines that you use. So Dr. Eugen, um, in, from Cyril's Disease Lab, Minnesota, he put together this very nice like photo series for the stem rust differentials that are used in trap plots. So you could use this to at least give you an indication that the line you're looking at in the field does actually correspond to the source, source seed, seed source. Yeah, so that's a useful, useful guide. If you're seeing you know, an entry where you know, the, the head type is, is totally different, then basically you pretty much ignore that, that trap nursery. If things are mixed up, then the information, it's just going to be bad information that comes from that, that trap plot. 